Oh yeah, I got it. I got it. Going insane on Cookie Clicker? Need something to satisfy your cravings for the golden cookie? Then you must be experiencing the Cookie Conundrum. The podcast about all things Cookie Clicker. Um, yes? Hello? Cookies! And welcome back to the Cookie Conundrum Podcast, Episode 3. Recorded on October the 15th, 2013. And unfortunately, I haven't had time to work on the bumpers, so again, another week without bumpers. Other than ones I make on my own Z's, which usually suck. But anyhow. First, let's get on to what I call achievements, or in other words, the journey segment, and oddly I have it out of my show notes thing here, but anyhow, so how things have been going is, um, most of the stuff I covered on my Blaze on Asian podcast, but, um, Unfortunately, episode 2 needed quite a bit of editing as XSplit kept on glitching out a lot, cutting out audio. Um, And then, of course, school, because I still go to school. I'm not a dropout. And, yeah. And then this weekend, I watched some of the Shaft podcast, and then the next day recorded episode 7 of Blaze on Nation, which took a couple of trials as XSplit. Um, wasn't set up the way I thought it would work right. Turns out, I can't local record and record to Twitch live at the same time. Um, what else has gone on? I've gotten four new episodes for each of my four Let's Plays recorded, and they are now, well, actually not all four of them. Only two of them are up on my channel, which is youtube.com slash jbjblaze. Um, so that'll be the ninth episode of Loadout. And then fifth episode of my hardcore Terraria Let's Play, um, and the Minecraft and Pokemon 3D episodes will be coming tomorrow and Friday. So you can count on those to be coming. But um, that's pretty much everything, although taking quite a bit of time to get this one set up. And unfortunately, there's no one. But anyhow, I guess let's get to time machine time. And I'll just sit and leave out any homemade bumpers. Well, I I suppose any bumper I make up is homemade, but improvised. I'll go with that. So, um... The first thing on the list of things of news and updates um, through October 14th and the 15th, so today and yesterday, Ortiz actually had quite a few updates going for the gold, which was yesterday, and then a couple of fi- a couple of fixes, player friendly, and it's a secret, in which. Some um, of the things include that he has made progress on the mobile port. Um, He added four more cookie upgrades and unlocked after reaching certain amounts of heavenly chips. Um, Cookies per second achievements are no longer affected by golden cookie frenzies. And... 
golden cookie chains work a bit differently. That's for um, the going for the gold, a couple of fixes. And I just found a golden cookie. They no longer spawn embarrassingly often, and cursors now stop moving if fancy graphics is turned off. So if you can't use fancy graphics on your computer, then you won't be able to see the cursors move every time they do a um, virtual click. Next up in player friendly, heavenly upgrades are now way, way cheaper. Tier 5 building upgrades are 5 times cheaper. Cursors now just plain disappear with fancy graphics off. I might add a proper option to toggle only the cursors later. And a warning, the, cake, the cookie monster add-on seems to be buggy with this update. You might want to wait until its programmer updates it and as I did just say everything from player friendly but this stuff's interesting <laughs> and lastly from it's a secret added a new heavenly upgrade that gives you 5% of your heavenly chips power for 11 cookies in brackets if you purchase the heavenly key you might need to buy it again sorry and golden cookie chains now should now work properly and he is still working on again the mobile ports with android coming first and then the rest some other time and more dungeons and what's next more dungeon stuff more buildings and upgrades and revamping the prestige system and unfortunately we don't have nothing new in terms of buildings or at least not since the antimatter condenser that's something actually i wanted to um, say that i'm very happy about when you click on a golden cookie and the panel in which your cookie and cursors and cookie counter are all in whenever you click a golden cookie and now glows with a yellow border thing around like those kind of things in the shows when you see flashbacks or um, the pyro's view of how things spawn in his world in Team Fortress 2 so that nice glow around the borders I actually really, really like it. And also, it's now on version 1.0383. So, quite a couple of threes. And that is that. If I can find my show notes here. Oh, and next up, we have some stuff from or TO's Tumblr. Well, actually, just one new thing. And he has a link to a German music video to some band. Not exactly sure what it's about. I've only seen about the first 31 seconds of it. Um, he says, so I've spent the past few days and nights Building fancy mansions in Terraria, but I think it's time to get back to work now. Mobile version incoming. Halloween Grandma Apocalypse update as well. Dungeon release somewhere around that time. And I'm um, preferring back to this video. Have some fresh German beats. In other words, he's a French person who listens to German music. Then again. I don't mind Japanese music either, and I am Canadian English. So, can't blame him. <laughs> but not being racist or anything. Don't get me wrong. We're all allowed to listen to foreign language music, even though it usually don't make sense. Um, and from Ortio's Twitter, his latest thing, oh and by the way that Polygon article 
was from a tweet by at Crescent Ed that is C R E C E N T E B. And so his post from yesterday says So I have been raking my brain to find an alternative pun name for Jaffa Cakes, but turn but it turns out the name isn't even trademarked. And takes out a laugh of he he ho ho ho. Okay. I I was thinking I overdid the hose, but no. I I did pretty good with the hose. Mm-hmm. Um and the stuff on this form I will well, on this one part of the form I will get to in the generator. Um not sure what was in the discussions. Maybe I can save myself from um Ultra Me. Yeah, from closing up the news segment. But that is all for the time machine time. Um uh, obvious Oh, hello Mercuraz. Um, yes. Someone's sleeping above me, and someone's watching TV behind me. And a spoiler for the... well, not really a spoiler, but for those people who were watching the Shaft episode 144, he's also the reason why I had to keep a little quiet when the Shaft hosts suddenly called me, and then I sounded like an alien for everyone who was watching. And it turns out Clownfish, well, I'm a victim of the Clownfish voice changer. Oh, and by the way, Mercuraz, now that you're in the chat room, um, I still have yet to try out, try out your map. Um, now for the generator, actually, you're a listener, aren't you? But what do you have for any listener contributions or ideas for or teal to add to the cookie conundrum? If you ever maybe listens to this podcast, I'm not saying he should. I, I, if he did, I'd be bloody well honored. But I, I guess I'll. P- so I. Uh, I guess I'll take that from you then. That it's okay. It's broken in some parts, but. Oh, you're talking about your adventure map. Yes, that's what this podcast is about, Mercurius Cookie Clicker. Um, I'll, I'll get back to you um, if you do have a listener contribution or idea for Cookie Clicker. Um,. I'm not sure whether I should get to this one link in this section, or... I'll do it in the shoutouts. But, um, for the generator... F- fortunately for myself... Okay, so... Mercraz just says, make the farms better. With a smiley face after that. Um... But better in what way exactly? And I got a feeling you'll probably hear what I just said in a couple of seconds. Probably because my stream is not that fast, unfortunately, but... What exactly do you intend by better? Ah! You have a hundred firms and they do 10,000 cookies per second. I'm not sure how many... Mine do per second, but I don't feel like looking right now, so I'll just skip that. Um, so for generator, or the generator, I have some stuff from the Dashnet forums. These are not my ideas, these are other people's ideas, but I found them pretty interesting. So Coldian, who is a member there, and this is... You can find these in the suggestions sub forum on Dashnet forums. 
new end game events with new buildings. So, he's been playing the game for a while, so naturally he has a, an insane or inane suggestion like everyone else. Um, his ideas consist of a new building, which is an advanced research facility, which would be about 10, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 6 more zeros per building. Maximum 10, cost increases like every other building. And guarantees no cookies, but allows advanced research or fail. Yeah. More facilities, up to 10, will reduce research times and unlock higher tier upgrades. And th that's just too long for me to read. And I, I guess that's where he gets the rest of these from, so... He says, here's the big choice a player has to make. After two or three generic general upgrades, it branches off. You can choose between... A. Alchemic Perfection, research that improves golden cookies. B. Hmm, golden cookies. I, ne I never thought that of that being what um, the factories do. But, um, and then Future Tech, which is research focusing on factories, time machines, and antimatter condensers. And C. Climate controller. Research improves farms to an absurd degree. And you can only choose one branch. You can only reselect by resetting. That is scary. So, so what I'm wondering there is whether that means resetting the whole game or just resetting that building. I'm hoping it's resetting just the building, but doesn't really say it. And uh, actually, I'll I'll read one of the perks from each. So, Fortune from Alchemic Perfection Tree needs 20 G golden cookies clicked in current session, 20 alchemy labs, one research lab. Improves lucky to 15% of banked cookies or 18,000 times um, cookies per second, whichever is lower. Um, future tech tree, industrial revolution. 20 factories, one lab. Factories gain 10 CPS for every other factory owned. And lastly, climate controller, weather randomizer. On farm one lab, seasons unlocked. The seasons last for five minutes each, then swaps to the next in line. Effects are A. Spring. Farms are twice as efficient. Summer. Farms are four times as efficient. Autumn. No change. But gains a uh, winter is coming boost of 2600 times total farm CPS at autumn's end. And D. Winter. Farms are halved in efficiency. And I'm not reading the rest of that. And so he adds a poll here. Advanced Research Lab. Which tree do you prefer? Either of the three or they all suck. And so I'll provide a link to that in the show notes actually. I I think that's actually pretty interesting. Oh. And that reminds me. I made a big mistake. Um, in the past week, I did not get the show notes for episode 2 complete until today. So send me that hate mail. Tell me that you hate me, that you don't want to see my stuff anymore. Because I forgot to get the show notes done for a freaking week. Although, do be warned, if you do send me hate mail and a whole bunch, like, spam me with it, I will probably block you. But, and yes, I am joking. 
I'm not being serious. I would never ask for such a thing. And this other guy cheated Cookie also on the forums. Says that he wants a new upgrade of Synergy. Each non-cursor object gets plus X to Cookies per second for every other non-cursor building you have. Unlocks only when you have at least a hundred of everything. I don't have a at least a hundred of everything. I think I only have about 66 antimatter condensers. Uh, price number of non-cursor objects owned times a big fat number and apparently 900 trillion minimum um, not too OP whatever that means um, not too operational I don't know unless applied to base cookies per second or unlocked early in the game but it will help to raise efficiency over lower tier objects and as an edit tested this upgrade raises CPS out output of lower tier buildings by decent amount considering to make it affect non cursor non grandma objects so from the sounds of it Maybe that means that there's such things as mods for Cookie Clicker, and that will be in the show notes as well. But, um, in my opinion, I, I actually wouldn't mind either of those. That would be pretty darn cool. Um, I really don't have any, uh, ideas of my own. Other than what I've mentioned on previous episodes, like multiplayer, um, maybe a shepherd upgrade for farms, or, or actually better yet, maybe cows or something. Uh, something to do with livestock would be pretty interesting. So maybe livestock upgrades for farms or something like that is what I'm thinking of. Um, yeah, that's really all I can think of at the moment. Other than maybe even like with RuneScape now, for even free users, you can download a client. Although this has started since RuneScape 3, but now... You can log into RuneScape through a client rather than in browser, and actually, I think that would be pretty nice too. Is being able to just go into Clucky Clicker through a client, although I suppose there's always just having a shortcut to it in browser, but maybe even Dashnet accounts, but I don't know. That would be something kind of interesting, but that's all I can think of for the generator. Unfortunately, I don't have too many things in the show notes today, um, but I will get into that later in the show. Um, and lastly, the last segment of tonight from around the cookie verse and you can't see it but I'm spinning my finger around and around and around it goes it's like hypnotizing me or something can I lick it? <laughs> can't reach it ah <sighs> oh, nuts but um Anyhow, back to this, so, unfortunately the only real thing or video I have here, well, other than look up Cookie Clicker, and that's two words, on YouTube, can get quite a few videos about it, and this one here is Cookie Clicker. Beware the Grandma by Cinnamon Toast Ken. 
it's 11, 30, 11 minutes 32 seconds and yeah and I guess the only other thing he has is seems I was ready in Grandma Apocalypse but the video has been viewed over 200,000 times like over five and a half times and for some reason there are 97 dislikers hello everyone and welcome to the rpm network a new division of maker studios and the fastest growing partnership program on youtube in this i'll be sure to edit that out but i just clicked on a link about this partnership stuff and all of a sudden some audio or video played but um that is Unfortunately, all I have for tonight, um, so I guess I'll go to shoutouts and ending the show. So, this link I was talking about is to, and this is by Gamepedia from Curse Sites. Um, Curse is the, um, gaming, um, site. Um, group site thing in which they do MMO champion, Air arena junkies, reign of gaming, league of legends pro, minecraft forums, gold wars 2 guru, and fps general. Um, they also manage the, they also have minecraft wiki and the terraria wiki on the gamepedia and but basically a lot of things that use the um wikipedia lookalike interface that's a game may now be with gamepedia as opposed to just themselves but um so what's going on here is they have a hearth or hearth stone beta key giveaway in which what you can do here you can get on your own z's about one two three four five eight eleven twelve thirteen entries which is what i have now so you can sign up via facebook or your email follow the gamepedia on twitter like them on facebook share the giveaway on Twitter or Facebook, subscribe to the to the Gamepedia YouTube channel as well as the Curse one, and then you can follow the Curse Network on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Um, probably by the time this podcast is released, the contest will or the giveaway will expire. So, uh, unless I can get it least in better timing, maybe tomorrow, that way you guys can use my referral link, and it, it'll help me out, and it'll get you into the giveaway, and then you just can invite all your friends to hopefully get a beta key to a Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft and I'm thinking probably this could be something to do another let's play with but that is one if I am to get it not saying you shouldn't try your butt off to get it I want you to try your butt off to get it beat me to it um, but yeah and in other things, go check out Just a Gaming Blog, and their site is Just a Gaming Blog, and that's b l o g g dot wordpress dot com for awesome game reviews, news, and other stuff. Um, they also have a pretty nice Steam community. Um, 
What else is there? FFsplit.com where you can get a download of their live streaming software. It's basically the VLC media player of live streaming, although it looks nicer than VLC does. But same basic concept, it's lightweight. <laughs> Bless me, I'll edit that out. Not to mention I got some on my hand, but I'll edit that out. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that. And check out Trading Revolution, either the Steam group, Trading Revolution on one word, um, T and R are capitals, and that is again a Steam group, or check come out on Twitter at tradingrevo.com, no, no, not dot com, just twitter.com slash tradingrevo, and I moderate the chat room there, so it, it's most of the time safe, or at least depending on what it is I'm doing. Um, what else? Um, wow, well, I'm running out of thought here. Do, 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 do. Well, if I can't think of it on time, I'll just edit out some of this. But, um, oh yes, and then, so for updates on the next episode, YouTube, eh, twitter.com slash my alias, so follow me on Twitter at JBJBlaze. Uh, you can find the video version of this podcast on YouTube, JBJBlaze. Um, Steam group is the flippin' awesome, all one word. And that is flippin', not flipping. Um, also on Spreaker, slash o slash the underscore cookie underscore conundrum. And the official site, the flippin' awesome dot E N J I N dot com slash T C C and also there you can fill out a listener contribution to go into this into that segment of the show. Um um and other than that I have somewhere where you can contact me if you would like to help out, whether it's being uh, another host, guest on the show or help with the show notes or any of the or any promotional stuff but um have i hope you all had a good thanksgiving weekend and i will see you all next tuesday i believe if i can get to it on in good timing so yeah, have a very good night, or at least that's Eastern Standard Time, and see you all later. Oh, and feel free to also send me a listener contribution bumper if I have not said that already on my contact thing. Or, what was the other thing? Or bumpers for other segments. And, yeah, I'm tuning out. Good night.